Hey guys, how's it going? So I'm out here on Lake Billy Chinook and I just wanted to give the new fish finder I got a shot that is uh, installed here on my kayak and it's working pretty good. This is the first fish finder I've ever had. So I have a lot to learn. Just wanted to show it to you. I'm pretty excited and uh, yeah, let's go. It's a real cold day. It's about 34 degrees out and I was not sure if I should come out here or not, but I sure I'm glad I did. It's like glass out here, a little bit of fog, but wind is supposed to come on in later. Um, there's a few people out here fishing. Not really sure where at, but I saw their, their rig. And uh, I wanted to come out here and give this thing a shot. I've got it hooked up to a 12 volt battery and I've got my own little setup here I'm gonna give a shot. Do you hear that? It's dead silent out here. So beautiful. This thing is really cool. So far, I have not seen a fish. Um, almost 30 feet of water, and I'm at 45 degrees Fahrenheit. Got a good charge on the battery. And it has the current time. So this is pretty cool. I think it might be picking up on my paddle strokes. Might have been a small fish back there. Yeah, I think it's picking up on my paddle strokes right on the top of the screen. I'll get a few more going here. That's not that big a deal, but right at the top of the screen, I have a few paddle stroke indications. Oh, there's a fish. Sweet. All right, here we go. Got something coming in. You can see my paddle stroke at the top, just a little bit. Looks like we might have a little school of fish or something there. All right, guys, my GoPro ran out of juice, so I'm using my cell phone. 149 feet deep, we're in basically a canyon. Um, Temperature of the water is 46, and then it shows your speed and your voltage of your battery and the time. So that's pretty cool. Um, I just had a school of kokanee in there. Let me try paddling here. Maybe a little school of fish there. Moving slightly shallower. You can also change this to the uh, split frequency. I noticed the 77 kilohertz is not picking up my um, paddle strokes. Okay, so I'm out here pretty deep, 127 feet. Um, this lake is basically in a canyon. And uh, this is a really cool unit so far. I'm super impressed. It's super easy to use. Um, I'm still learning. This is my first fish finder ever. So I'm pretty sure that we're looking at some schools of kokanee that are down deep and um, I've got a line with the weight on it and, and stuff down there. I think it might be picking that up too. Um, but it seems to be working really good. I have a lot to learn. Um, you can go to a traditional view pretty easily, just like that, and auto range or you can manually range it. Uh, you can also do GPS waypoints, which I haven't given a shot yet. But I've just been paddling around trying to figure out exactly how to target fish. Maybe we got a little school of fish there.
Wow, I think I found a school of kokanee. What the heck is that? About 75 feet down. Is my my line? Then I'd be way below it now. I think that might be. Wait, I think you can see it down below it. Okay, we're coming into it. Just a little. I'm going to stop as much as I can. I don't know if they'll take this or not. I think I might be in them now. I don't know. Damn, it's like glass out here. That is amazing. I have never seen it this smooth out here. It is like glass. 160 feet of water. So something coming up on the screen there. I wonder if those are little kokanee or something. There's a few at 50 feet and a bunch around 100 feet. Just saw a little nibble at the surface dead ahead of me. I'm going to keep going that way. Those must be fish. But they're small fish. 